Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I will I'll give it a few seconds for a few more jo folks to join us. All right, I'll start. Hello, uh, my name is Ariel Alcontapia, and I'm the Public Affairs Manager here at the Riverside County Transportation Commission, or RCTC. I want to thank everyone who's joining us tonight to learn to learn more about the uh, I-15 Smart Freeway project. I'm joined today by our project's technical and engineering team members, uh, John um, Taracio, um, Melissa Brady, and Darren Henderson. Uh, we look forward to sharing uh, with you more about the project and answering any questions you may have. However, before I start the, um, the presentation, I would like to go over a few housekeeping notes about today's presentation. Uh, first, uh, this meeting is being recorded. Uh, we will uh, be posting the recording of this video in our smart room, uh, which I'll talk about later in the presentation. Also, all attendees' cameras will remain off and microphones will remain muted for the duration of the meeting. Following the presentation um, on the project, there will be a question and answer session for you to ask any questions about the project. To do so, please click on the Zoom Q&A button at the bottom of the screen and type in your question. We will read the questions out loud and have the appropriate team member answer them. All right, well, without further ado, uh, I'll start the presentation on the project. We all know, and I know, that uh, traffic remains one of the biggest issues commuters face on the Interstate 15 in uh, Marietta and, uh, and Temecula, especially the northbound 15, especially when people return from work. It could take 45 minutes to travel just eight miles during peak hours. Air quality is compromised uh, due to cars sitting on the, on the freeway. Rear-ended collisions are common, not to mention the increased traffic brought to side streets as drivers frustrated with the conditions on the 15 try to get around traffic. The MOVE I-15 Task Force, a group composed of local leaders along the corridor, was created to focus on congestion facing the community and other, communi and other communities along the 15 corridor. The project we're presenting today is one of the outcomes of that task force. RCTC has worked with partners at the city of Temecula and Caltrans to develop an innovative solution to improve traffic operations air quality and safety on the 15. The Smart Freeway Pilot Project will cover a segment, an eight mile segment of the northbound 15, starting at the Riverside San Diego County line, um, northbound uh, to the 15 to 15 split or Y in Marietta, and will include the Rancho California, Temecula Parkway and Winchester on ramps. So you're probably asking yourself, what is a Smart Freeway? Well, in a nutshell, the smart freeways are highway, highways equipped with a set of, set of sensors and other advanced technological systems that continuously monitor traffic, traffic patterns in real time. The system then directly relays this traffic information to ramp meters and changeable speed signs to change driving behavior and stabilize traffic flow. This creates a coordinated system that keeps traffic flowing at a consistent rate. Time savings can vary, but the goal is to move traffic along the corridor more consistently and more reliably. This is a non-told solution, so there will be no charge for use. The benefits will be felt by all motorists traveling on the northbound 15 through Temecula and Marietta. In the chart here on the screen, you will see some pretty impressive statistics from Melbourne, Australia, where the smart freeway concept was first implemented. There, they've used the system on over 100 miles of roadway and on over 120 ramp meters. They have seen travel time reduction of 42%, 30% reduction in motorway accidents, and 11% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. Other American cities are also seeing the benefits of a smart freeway system. There are other smart freeway projects being who, that have been piloted in the United States or, want, or are going to be piloted in the future. For example, in Colorado, they implemented a smart freeway pilot program along Interstate 25 in, in the Denver area. And this program was such a success that they're going to be implemented on a wider scale in, the, in that state and in, on their highway system. In Contra Costa County, a county is east of San Francisco and in the state of Utah, they're looking at also developing similar projects. So you may be wondering why are we looking internationally in other states for a solution to traffic congestion? Building our way out of congestion by widening the freeway is costly, complicated, and takes a long time. The truth is, 
the time is now for an innovative and smart solution to traffic congestion so that we could do everything to improve traffic flow and make daily commutes along the 15 corridor a better experience for all motorists on the road. We are excited to be bringing this technology to the state of California and to the, uh, and to the Temecula Marietta area. And we are anticipated to be the first in the state to pilot such a system. So how does the system work? Here in this, on this graphic, you'll see a rendering of what the system will look like. There will be coordinated ramp meters at the Rancho California, Temecula Parkway, and Winchester on-ramps. Unlike an uncoordinated ramp meters where the light will turn red or green, allowing for staggered flow of traffic onto the freeway where uncoordinated, uncoordinated ramp meters operate independently of one another and do not change for traffic condition, with the coordinated ramp meters in this project, the the ramp meters will work together to adapt to one another based on traffic conditions surrounding each on-ramp. We will also have vehicle counting sensors on the northbound 15. This will set approximately four inches above the ground and can be seen by the blue line on the graphic. These sensors and transmitters simply detect the cars on the freeway at any given time. These sensors do not record license plate information or collect license plate um, information. They're simply counting or detecting the number of tires that are passing along the roadway to assess the traffic at any given moment. We, have, we also have a series of changeable speed ahead signs to further the goal of keeping traffic flow moving at a consistent rate. Similar to signs you see in the middle of this image, they will advise motorists on what speed we think they should be driving at or what, what speed the system thinks they should be driving at so that traffic will continue to flow. These signs will not be regulatory, so the highway patrol will not be, will not be writing tickets for them. They're strictly to advise drivers the appropriate speed for maintaining uh, traffic, flow, traffic flow along the corridor. In addition to these features, we will be upgrading ramp meters, widening some of the on-ramps so that we can store more vehicles on the ramps. And more, very, important, very importantly, we will be coordinating the installation of these features uh, 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 with the construction of the French Valley uh, Parkway Interchange Project. So when the French Valley Parkway Interchange Project opens, it will work in tandem with the Smart Freeway features. So let's take a look at how the system works in terms of the, the ramps. So in this animation, you will see, you will see um, the how the the, pilot, the the cars will be flowing. The ramp signal stay off when the freeway traffic is light. As traffic increases on the freeway, the ramp signals will turn on. Once the ramp signal turns red, the short queues may start to form. The ramp signals will cycle between the red and green, allowing one vehicle per lane. The ramp signals control the number of vehicles entering the freeway to help minimize disruptions in the traffic flow. As the ramp queue builds, the ramp signal may release more vehicles at a faster rate to manage the queue on the on-ramp. So in a nutshell, that, that is how the system is going to be operating. Um, and that is based on just one on-ramp. So it's not, it's not based on all the on-ramps that we're gonna be looking at um, along the corridor. So some of the benefits of the Smart Freeway pro Project, um, as, as you know, uh, widening freeways is incredibly expensive and difficult to, to move forward. The goal of the Smart Freeway Pilot Project is to test a cost-effective, efficient, and innovative way to improve traffic flow on along the 15. And so the benefits of the project include in, uh, better traffic flow, increased safety, with the goal of having fewer rear-end collisions uh, along the, uh, the corridor, time savings, cleaner air, lower costs, and uh, compatibility with the existing and future infrastructure. So the pilot project, uh, well, there's going to be, this will be the first time in the state of California, and we want to assess the impacts before long-term uh, implementation of a smart freeway system. We're confident that this is going to work, and we're confident it's going to work well. We're looking closely at the data, both, we will be looking closely at the data, both good and bad, in Denver and other locations that have adopted the system. And we are considering less uh, best practices as we move forward with the program here. 
We think there's a great opportunity to see if they work here in California and in Riverside County. Starting in 2025, a few months after the French Valley Parkway interchange opens, the pilot program will run for two years. Even though the construction and infrastructure for the uh, placement of the project will be in place, we will wait until the French Valley interchange project is, um, is completed before we turn on this, the system for operation. This will allow motorists to get used to the new interchange and to start operations on, in, on the smart freeways features. We will be implementing traffic operations, looking at what happens at the ramp meters, and adjusting the software in real time so we can make the system work at the best as it can. We will be posting the data in, on our smart room to maintain full transparency with the public. You can you can see, uh, you can see on the screen some of the evaluation criteria that RCTC and Caltrans will be looking at to evaluate the pro the project's effectiveness. We'll be looking at conditions before the pilot program and comparing them to conditions after the program to assess whether the system could be useful throughout California or to implement in other uh, parts here in Riverside County. We have been doing extensive public outreach for this pilot program as well, so the community understands what changes are going to be made and what benefits we anticipate as a result. We think there's going to be a lot of interest, not just here in Riverside County or in Temecula, but we're also in across the state and in other, in other cities across the, the country. We developed an in, interactive virtual smart room at smartfreeway.org that will be available for 24-7 uh, for the public to learn more about the project, sign up for information, text updates, and ask for questions. This is where you'll be able to find um, our animations, our overview videos, and other updates. As I previously mentioned, this is a web-based service system that will be updated um, in real time so to all, for all to view while the system is operating. Um, you can also see here, we completed in-person meeting last week at Temecula City Hall. Today is our virtual meeting and we'll continue a presence on social media and other tools listed here to keep the community informed and involved, uh, involved with the pilot project. The city of Temecula has begun construction on the French Valley Parkway interchange project, as I mentioned earlier, and we've been coordinating very closely with the city. The project aims to reduce traffic weaving on northbound 15 near the 15 to 15 Y junction. And so this, since this is along our corridor, we are, watch, we are working closely with the city on this, on this project. We're also working with the city on other projects they have near the corridor, such as the I-15 congested relief project. Construction on this project, on the uh, I-15 Smart Freeway Pilot Project, is, is expected to start this summer and will last about 12 months or a year. We will now begin the operation of the system after the French Valley Interchange is open. Following the construction, uh, follow, when we, once we turn on the pilot program sometime in 2025, we will be running it for two years, from 2025 to 2027. Before um, we take any questions, there are several ways to stay connected uh, with the project. First, you can visit our, our project website or rctc.org slash smartfreeway for more information. You can also email us at smartfreeway at rctc.org if you have any questions. And we could all, always find our information on our social media channels on Facebook, um, X, or Instagram for updates. <laughs> 